Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial on how to make an air conditioner in Lightwave. And I was actually inspired to do this by seeing this tutorial in another software program. This guy's tutorials, I like them in the sense that he's real quick and dirty and kind of sloppy and honestly, I'm sort of the same way. But the problem with his videos are they're so quick that you can't, you don't really know what he's doing. So, but I saw this and I thought, I know I can do this in Lightwave. So that's what I'm going to do. Also related to this is I need to give a huge shout out to Tony Hall at West Nass College because he basically did the definitive UV wrapping tutorial using Lightwave. And prior to this video, there really wasn't a video as comprehensive as this. So I rely on this, the knowledge that he shared with this to basically do the whole thing. And if you follow this tutorial, you can basically do the air conditioner, but I'm just gonna do it to show you how relatively easy it is to do. So starting off in Modeler, and seriously, all we do is make a box. I, I'll delete that and just start from scratch. And so we just make a box to click and drag and it's that simple. Just whatever you think an air conditioner should look like. I would say something like right about like that. And then we just hit enter and we hit F3 to rest it and we go, okay. And then we're just gonna go save this, save object as, and a box, a box three, okay. There's been some improvements in Lightwave. I believe the older versions of Lightwave, the surface header wasn't as developed as it is now. So you, I actually don't even think you need to go into Lightwave um, layout. I mean, other than to view it more, but if you want to take a look at it, you got to send it over to layout. This is going to be basically an, a UV unwrapping. So you just come here to uh, UV and you go make UV and we'll leave this map type. We'll do Atlas. And believe it or not, that's all we got to do. And we go create, but to see it, you're going to have to come over here to top view and just go UV texture and you hit a to fill the screen and there's our UV map. So if you want to know what side is what click down here on polygon and you click here, let's see polygon, right? Oh, you got to click here. How come my, uh, polygon? There we go. So you can see what's what. If you hit shift, you can select. So that's the front, this one, and this one's gonna be the back. Okay, so those, just knowing that, it's good kind of to know the front and the back. And so I'm just gonna just select all that. And then all we do is we just save. And unfortunately you do need Photoshop for this. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can use GIMP, uh, which is a open source Photoshop program. So we already saved the object, but we're gonna, we're gonna go to save export export eps turn off draw grid and we want the uv texture uv and then we'll export the file to i'm just going to throw this on my desktop which is a mess and we'll just call it box underscore uv and we'll send it to go okay then what we'll do is we'll jump in into Photoshop. I already have the image that I found for the air conditioner I should mention. I just went into Google Images and typed in old air conditioner and I like the look of this one. I mean, there, you can choose a bunch of different ones. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Photoshop, and you know, back into Photoshop, excuse me. And we're gonna go to File, Open, and we're gonna open that box that we just did, the box UVS. Now what's important here in uh, Tony Hall mentioned this and this is you want to put this to 300 and you want to change the color to RGB and then we go okay and there it comes in so all we got to do is we just have to play around with some of um, this I'm not sure how far to go with texturing this but I'll just show you how real easy it is the first thing is you come up here to the top tool the move tool and you have to hit control T to transform it go oh I might have to duplicate this layer here duplicate this layer. So I'll click on that one and I'll hit control T and now I can, this is a little uneven. So I'm just going to turn it to straighten it out. So I'm just eyeballing it just to make it look level, more level. And then you got to hit enter. Okay. So that's relatively level now. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my crop tool and I'm just going to click and drag and select that part of the air conditioner and hit enter and that looks pretty good and so i'll just hit control a control c to copy 
I'll go back into my UV box, control V to paste it. Then it's coming in pretty small. I'll hit my move tool over here and you hit control T again. And that's one funky thing about this. Uh, this is just a quick and dirty method. The aspect ratio is gonna be a little wonky, but nobody's gonna know. It'll just be your little secret that you won't tell anybody because we're squishing it down. And um, But this is, uh, there we go. So that's going to look good enough, I think, and no one's going to know that that's squished more than it's supposed to be. Okay? Because we're just cheating. We'll hit Enter, and then I'll come over here on the layer and right-click and duplicate layer. Go OK. And then I can hit, I believe, Control, and just, or no, not even Control, just drag that one over to that one. That's going to be my front and the back. You can use my arrow keys to get it in the box. Okay, so now I'm going to jump back into this image. I'm going to hit control, or I can go into my history, I believe. Go back in time to here when I did my straightening it, up, straightening it out. And I'll go back into crop. And this time, I'm just going to crop this little section right here. I, oops. What did I do? So that should be good. And I'll hit enter to make it happen. Control A to select, Control C to copy. We're going to go back into here. I'm going to control, control V and hit go click on the move tool here. And we're just going to stretch this out all over the place. So kind of like we did before. And you can cheat on, like I said, you're going to cheat, be cheating on the, the aspect ratio here. And it's just got to fill in those area. Hit enter. And then we'll come over here, right click, duplicate layer. Okay. And then we're just going to drag this one over here, over there like that. And then we're going to duplicate the layer again. And I think it's going to be this one. And we're going to drag it down here. And the same thing, control T to transform it. And we're going to get it positioned in that box as best we can. And this would be like, a you know, some kind of cheap asset that is off in the distance, you know, you're not, we're not, I'm not expecting that people are going to be looking really closely at some old grungy air conditioner in my scene. Hit enter and then right click over here on the layer, duplicate layer. Okay. And we're just going to drag it over here to there. You can use the arrow keys to fine tune it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So now we're just going to go to file, save as. And we'll just save this as a JPEG and we'll just leave it. I'll change the name a little bit here. Box UV one save. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay. Now we can jump back into modeler and we can go to the surface editor. We can go to the edit node, make this big. We can drag this over here like that. We can go to type in image right here, double click, we're going to go to load image and we're going to load that, what we just created out of Photoshop and it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. Open. There it is. And then all we have to do is set the mapping to the UV map texture, close that put the color into the color and there is our air conditioner and it's really cool. Okay. Now one thing that you can do, and I hadn't really appreciated this before. Now what's kind of cool is it automatically came in on the front and back. So that actually matches. I have to tell you, I am a terrible modeler and it's something that I'm weak in and I'm trying to learn uh, modeling. So don't judge me too harshly on my modeling. What you can do real time, and it's pretty cool, is one of the best tools in LightWave is actually the bevel tool. And I just know from experience that it's B, and it's a click and drag tool. And you can kind of see go in and up and down, and it's just it's fun to play around with it. But we'll just bevel this in a little bit. Bevel this, uh, I don't make going in. Looks like I might be going out. I want to go, which way is, up. Oh, I want to go down, down to, to bubble it in. 
and that's all you can see down here I beveled in a little bit now if I wanted to get more sophisticated with it I could cut it right here and just bevel this part in the, the point is that I can pull that in even a little bit more the point is is that it you're kind of modeling in real time I'm just gonna drop the tool right there and call it a day you can go in and do a lot more to the geometry to just kind of play around with it and make it more interesting so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna save the object as and save it as a box uh, I'll just leave it box three, I guess. Overwrite, and we're gonna go ahead and send the object to layout. Oh wait, the other good thing to do is is also um, to save all objects, save all objects, and then send the object to layout. And there it is. Zoom in here a little bit, and it could be a little wonky. I mean, you can play around with the, the modeling part of it. Let me match my perspective here, like that. The only other thing we're gonna do is uh, turn off the backdrop. And I guess we can leave the backdrop on. Just go into uh, BPR. Maybe I overdid it with the bevel a little bit, but I think it's pretty cool. It depends on the angle that you're looking at it and stuff like that, but you know, you can do it. <laughs> it's pretty easy to do. So just throwing some rough textures. Well, I did notice on one of those other tutorials, he did this uh, kind of UV texturing, quick and dirty on human shape to create a crowd of people and I might be playing around with trying to do that. Yeah, you can do this. You can do this in Lightwave and you just need Photoshop or GIMP. But other than that, you can create anything you can imagine. All right, take care, have a great day and I will talk to you later.